How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boilai Hobby Time. This week I'm building a diorama based on a set piece from the TV show Better Call Saul. Today is my brother's birthday. My brother really enjoys this TV show, so I decided to make this for him and give it to him as a birthday gift. He will be seeing it for the first time when he watches this video, so happy birthday, dude. For the drop ceiling, I 3D printed the frame, and then I cut out some O2O styrene sheets to be the tiles. Then measured out and cut some O4O styrene. This will all be the walls. This right here is going to be the wall with the door on it and the window. So I cut out the door and I saved that piece to use as a door later. I learned this technique here from Adam Savage where you cut across from corner to corner. This makes peeling out the interior of a piece a lot easier. You don't run as much of a risk of breaking any of your styrene unnecessarily. Then cut up some strips of basswood and use those to frame the wall. I printed off a little coat hanger which I fastened to the inside of the door and made sure that would look good. And then it was time to move on to making the water heater. I used a piece of PVC pipe for this. I cut out some styrene and glued it to the top. And I shaved down the excess and filed it so that it was nice and smooth. I then cut out the rest of the walls and I marked off a little grid and scaled out the floor. I glued all the walls in place and made sure that they were at right angles. I was very pleasantly surprised to see that AMC has a 360 tour of a lot of the sets from the show, including the nail salon office. So I used this as a reference to recreate everything to scale from the office. I did this all in Shaper for the iPad. It took a long time to do but not as long as it would have taken to scratch build everything. I did scratch build the water heater though, so for everyone who enjoys the scratch building and also for myself, it was it was fun, but a lot more feasible than, than the entire office. glued a few things in place, including a little switch and some conduit for the lights, and then it was time to paint. To recreate the wood paneling, I glued a bunch of basswood around the other two walls. Then I trimmed that down and I added a piece on the bottom for the baseboard. Once the glue was dry, I stained the wood to make it a little bit truer to color and I applied some aging and weathering to the green wall. Then glued it in place. I did forget to record the making of the floor, so I do apologize about that. And it was time to move on to the window. I took a piece of clear plastic and I wrapped it in some orange cellophane. I used a spray-on adhesive on both sides of the clear plastic. Then I pressed down the cellophane onto it. it did have a nice cloudy uh, kind of frosty look to it which is perfect because that is exactly how the glass looks in the show they glued that in place as well as the door and the room was pretty much done then i moved on to painting the fixtures and the furnishings
After I had finished painting all of the banker's boxes, which was a very tedious task, it was time to move everything in. I then installed a toggle switch onto the base and for the lighting I wanted it to look like some fluorescent ceiling lights were shining into the room. So I used two of these LED filaments side by side, mounted those to a little piece of wood and I glued it right above the window. I then finalized the rest of the electronics. I soldered the power source to the switch and then to the light. And to wrap the whole thing up, I built a little frame out of some styrene. I painted that black. And I called it good. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Happy birthday to my brother. Happy Valentine's to the rest of you. Have a great week. I will see you all next time.